energy. Yeah. Hey, it's your boy G. We're back at you today with Blue Apron meal number three, and today we're having harissa baked chicken. All right, here's the ingredients for today's meal. We have two boneless chicken breasts, a half cup of semi-pearl farro, one persimmon, two carrots, two garlic cloves, one bunch of collard greens, a little bit of parsley, a half ounce of goat crumble cheese, one tablespoon of red uh, harissa paste, red wine vinegar, and plain Greek yogurt. Okay, now we're going to mix together the yogurt, the paste, and half of the vinegar. First the yogurt. Next will be the paste. And next will be half of the vinegar. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Now we're going to mix this here thoroughly. Now we're going to transfer half of it to a serving bowl. About this much here we're going to set aside. Now we're going to take the baking sheet, put aluminum foil on it, and spray it with um, non-stick spray. Now we're going to add our chicken breast. I'm going to pat it dry. Lay it on the pan. And now we're going to season it with salt and pepper on both sides. Now we're going to put the chicken breast into the yogurt sauce and make sure that it's thoroughly coated. Now we're going to place our chicken back on the baking sheet. We're going to place it in our preheated oven at 450 degrees for 19 to 21 minutes. Alright, once you cut and core your persimmon, make sure you add the red vinegar wine and set that aside to marinate. Okay, now we need to cook our farro. So what I did was I added some farro to this salted boiling water. Okay, we're going to cook this 17 to 19 minutes uncovered or until it's tender. Now while the fur is cooking, we're going to go ahead and cook our vegetables. We're going to drizzle the two teaspoons of olive oil. We're going to add our carrots and season them with some salt and pepper. We're going to cook these two to three minutes or until they're slightly softened. Okay, now that our carrots have softened, we're going to add the garlic and our collard greens. And once again, we're going to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now we're going to cook this for a couple of minutes until the greens start to wilt. Okay, now we're going to add a quarter cup of water. And once again, a little bit of salt and pepper. It's important that you do add the salt and pepper so you can get a good seasoning. Okay, our chicken is done. Now we're going to slice it up. Okay, now we're going to add our drained farro to the vegetables. I'm going to mix it in. Okay, now we're going to add our persimmons which was soaking in the vinegar. We're going to mix that all in there too. I'm going to add a drizzle of olive oil and once again some salt and pepper. Now I'm going to stir all this up for you. I'm going to get ready and plate it. So I'll be right back. Okay, people, here we have it. 
I add some goat cheese, a little bit of parsley, and here's the rest of our yogurt sauce. Actually look pretty good. I ain't never had this here before, so let's we'll see what it's working with. It's not bad. This farro, I ain't never had nothing like this here a day in my life, but um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. If you mix it all together, along with the yogurt sauce and the collard greens, hey, I can work with it. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's all right. Okay, people, we come to the end of this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Until the next time, enjoy. Taking down my energy.